So hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial in which we are going to discuss a very famous problem called find triplet that sum to a given value. So this is the part one of the video in which we are going to discuss the first solution or the simplest approach. So let's first understand the problem statement. So we are given an array and a value and we need to find if there is a triplet in an array whose sum is equal to the given number. So what is a triplet? Triplet is a set of three numbers, any three numbers from the array if they sum to the given value, which is given as input, we need to return true. So if there is such a triplet present in an array, then we need to print the triplet and return true, else we need to return false. Okay. So as you can see, the problem is very straightforward, but the time complexity required is order of n square. Okay. Order of n square and not order of n cube or uh, anything greater than order of n square. So so in simple terms the problem statement is we are given an array and a value we need to find if there are any three elements in the array whose sum is equal to the given value okay so this is the problem so let's first understand uh, with the help of sample cases so if this is the given array and the sum is 24 so let's see 12 plus 3 plus 9 so 12 plus 3 plus 9 there are three such elements whose sum is 24 and that's why we return true with the three triplets again we are given an array and sum 9 so we check 1 2 3 no, the sum is 6. We check 2, 3, 4 and all such combinations. And finally, 5, 3, 1 give us the sum of 9. That's why we are sure that it is present. So as we discussed while explaining you this particular case, that we need to check all the possible cases of the three possible triplets. And then we return if any such triplet sums to the given value. So that's the first approach, which is order of n cube complexity. Now, why order of n cube? Because as you can see, we need to check for all the combination, all the possible combinations with the three values. Okay, so that's why order of n cube. So a simple method is to generate all the possible triplets and compare the sum with the every trip of the every triplet with the given value. Okay, so just create three loops, nested loops, like one after one within another, and runs from uh, the the outermost loop runs from start to end, and second loop starts from i plus one to j sorry i plus 1 to the end and third runs from j plus 1 to n okay so let's first understand why second loop starts from i plus 1 so if the first loop starts from i second should start from i plus 1 why because if i has been already taken a of i has already been taken so it is not possible to take it again okay the numbers should be distinct here so that's why the second number should start from i plus 1 and if j loop is running from i plus 1 to n then the last innermost loop should start from j plus 1. Why so? Because if this is taken, then it should start from the next value. So that's why three loops. The counter of these loops represent the index of the three elements of the triplets. Uh, this we are going to cover while writing the code. And find the sum of i j and k element. If the sum is equal to the given sum, just print the triplet and break. Okay. So what are i, j and k? i refers to the uh, loop of the uh, outermost loop. This is the second loop and this is the third loop, the innermost loop. So why are three pointers required? So as we need to check all the possible cases and uh, all the possible triplets basically. So that's why if we, if we fix two elements, then we need to check the remaining elements with these two elements. Similarly, if we fix one element, then we need to check all the combination of two elements with this particular one element. So as you can see, the logic is just have three loops and it will definitely check all the possible cases for you for three elements that's why three loops if there are four elements then four loops and so on okay so if there is no triplet then just print that uh, it doesn't exist so let me repeat why three loops because we need to check all the possible triplets okay so when we come to the coding section we will explain you in a better manner so let's come to the coding section okay so let's take a sample vector for which we will test our code so vector of int let's call it a and the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And suppose we need to check this whether sum equals to 9 exists or not. Any such triplet with sum 9 exists or not. That's what we need to check here. So let's define sum equals to 9. Okay. Int is missing here because we are defining as well as de uh, initializing it. So let's call our method find triplet. Okay, it should return true or false depending on whether such element is present or not. So bool is present equals to find triplet and let's call it with the given input vector and the sum. Okay, 
okay so let's come to the main logic here uh, boolean it should return boolean value find triplet the method name uh, let's have the two parameters a and int sum okay so it should return true if any such triplet with the given sum is present present in this particular vector okay so as stated let's uh, first write the brute force code so what is brute force first write three for loops i equals to zero i is less than n i plus plus what is n n is the number of elements present in the given vector so it is just a dot size okay i plus plus okay uh for so what should the second loop consist of just pause it for a while go through the previous logic that has been explained in the slides and then think why we are writing so okay so we hope that you have paused thought it on your own so let's start so it should be j equals to i plus one j is less than n and j plus plus similarly we'll recommend you to think again for the innermost loop what should be the uh what should be the values that it should run from okay so let's let me write it k equals to j plus one k is less than n and k plus plus okay if so yeah let me uh, help you understand i is running from 0 to n that is we are traversing the array from 0 to n okay so for each value of i we are fixing one element if i equals to 0 so we are fixing the first first element suppose the array is 1 2 3 4 5 okay so for the for this value we are fixing this now we need to check all the possible combinations of these with this particular number okay so i is i is fixing the one of uh, i is fixing one element that has been taken now if we fix 2 we need to check all the rightmost elements okay if we fix 3 we need to check all the rightmost combinations with the 3 that what it means that what it means okay now j equals to i plus 1 so if we have fixed this number j can only possibly take these values that's why i plus 1 to n and if we have fixed particular j for this value then k can take only these values so that's why the limits for the loops are accordingly so if even if you don't understand just pause it for a while think what are we doing just the constraint is that one number should not be taken multiple times that's why we are running these loops from next number to till the end if we can take the number multiple times then each of them should run from 0 to n okay yeah we hope that you have understand it understood it so a of i plus a of j plus a of k equals to equals to sum okay so if we have found any of the triplet that is uh, giving us the sum so let's just print out those three elements a of i separated by a space a of j separated by a space a of k okay so we have printed it out and just return false uh, return true that is triplet is present and if no such case is passed that is we have exited all the three loops so we'll return false because we have checked for all the cases and no such triplet has been found found so let's just run it So let's run this code. Okay, so as you can see, our triplet 135 is printed with value 9. Why are we getting this error? Okay, because this has been reduced. Okay, so let's just do if is present. So if is present, is present is true when there is such triplet. So just put out a triplet is present else means if uh, if is present is false that means no such triplet was found and that's why we print our triplet is not present okay let's check great so it is working fine let's check uh, when there is no possibility of having a given sum uh, let's check for 
suppose sum to be 30 okay so sum cannot be 30 here let's check okay no triplet with sum 30 is present so as you can see it is working fine so just go through this brute force code once again and in the next tutorial we are going to discuss the most optimized solution for this uh, which is for sure better than this particular solution okay so yeah thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.